the Parramatta Eels will host the Newcastle Knights at ANZ Stadium in Sydney this Saturday night, a battle between two sides outside the top eight. Team form guide the Eels travelled up to Brisbane last week, looking to keep their slim finals hopes alive with a win. The Broncos got off to a strong start with a brilliant bomb kick recovery from Jermaine Isaco leading to an early 6-0 lead. Another try to the home side gave them a 12-0 lead at halftime, with the Eels failing to convert their opportunities. The Broncos seemed content with taking their foot off the pedal in the second half, while the Eels continued to create chances through the middle of the park, and almost every chance ending with an error and gifting the Broncos possession. An intercept try for George Jennings and two penalty goals was all the visitors could manage, as the Broncos won comfortably 18-10. The Knights entered their clash with the Sharks looking to snap a three-game skid. However, they were on the back foot early as a penalty awarded to the Sharks led to a third-minute try for Jesse Ramin. Two more tries for the visitors put them ahead 16-6 at halftime, with the Lachlan Fitzgibbon try the only silver lining for Newcastle. Matt Moylan put in arguably his best performance of the year so far, by guiding his side on attack and leading to six try assists. The second half started with the Sharks making the most of their chances, and scoring three tries in the first 10 minutes to take a strong 38-6 lead. Defensively the Knights struggled and the Sharks continued to slice through their line, with two more tries to finish them off. With very little to show for their efforts, the 48-10 drubbing is no doubt Newcastle's low point so far this season. Squad New Zealand's Corey Norman is out this week due to suspension, with Bevan French moving to his fullback and Josh Hoffman returning on the wing. Knights Nathan Ross has a groin injury and is replaced by Corey Dennis. Callan Ponga has been named despite head issues recently, and Jacob Lilliman starts at prop for the suspended Herman ESE ESE. Preview key battle with a move to his preferred fullback role, Bevan French could be a dark horse out of backfield for Parramatta, sizing up against Newcastle wonder kid Callan Ponga and creating a key battle. French has been rumoured to be moving on from Parramatta in 2019, but for now he remains an important piece of their backline given the injury to Jared Hayne and suspension to Corey Norman. Callan Ponga has been labelled one of the top future stars of the NRL and since the injury to Mitchell Pierce has become the go-to man for the Knights since. He gave the Newcastle fans a slight scare last week after he left the field with a head injury, but was able to return and is named to start this week. Embed from Getty Images pre-game quotes Eels coach Brad Arthur says that it has become a priority to get a win for the fans as well as the team. Arthur added that the mentality every week has remained unchanged. Knights forward Aiden Guerra said it is always tough to bounce back against big losses, but said the team's focus is everyone showing up mentally. Key statistic Despite a rough few years for the Knights they have won four of the past six games against the Eels, including their last encounter last year 29-10 in NC Stadium. Squad Eels, 1 Bevan French, 2 Josh Hoffman, 3 Michael Jennings, 4 Brad DeCarangi, 5 George Jennings, 6 Clint Gutherson, C, 7 Mitchell Moses, 8 Daniel Alvaro, 9 Cameron King, 10 C.O. Sayavev, 11 Manu M.A.U., 12 Tepai Morua, 13 Penai Tariko Interchange, Ennis, 5 Sean Kenny Dowell, 6 Connor Watson, 7 Jack Cogger, 8 Jacob Lilliman, 9 Slade Griffin, 10 Daniel Safiti, 11 Lachlan Fitzgibbon, 12 Mitchell Barnett, 13 Aiden Guerra, C, Interchange, 14 Danny Levi, 15 Chris Hangton, 16